Hi pals, this is Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you Ads Academic Report Writing Task 1 Overview and Practice. Okay, two tasks in writing. Task 1 is report writing for academic 150 to 180 words in 20 minutes and task 2 is essay both academic and general 250 to 280 words in 40 minutes. So friends, in this video, I'm going to share with you task one report writing for academic. Let's take a look at the task assessment. Task achievement is 25% in which you need to answer everything you're asked to do in the question. The other 25% is coherence and cohesion, use structured paragraphs and make standard expressions. The other 25% belongs to the lexical resource, use wide range of vocabulary. And the last is grammar range and accuracy, include different kinds of sentences ranging from simple, compound and complex. Now let's take a look at the segregation of paragraphs. Paragraph 1 is introduction, paragraph 2 is overview or summary, paragraph 3 is make analysis and group comparisons of different years, and paragraph 4 is make analysis and group comparisons of remaining years. Now let's take a look at the types of the graphs. We can get anything like a pie chart, bar graph, table, line graph, flowchart, describe facts and figures through bar graphs, describe trends through line graphs, comparison through tables and pie charts, describe a process diagram or map, and describe a flowchart. Now let's take a look at the recent exam question, graph 1. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The graph below shows the information on employment rates across six countries in 1995 and 2005. Summarize the information by choosing and describing the main idea and make comparisons where appropriate. Write at least one to two words. Now let's take a look at the bar graph which shows the employment rates by country 1995 to 2005. So hey friends, here I'm going to be sharing an idle answer that can help you score a good band. The supplied bar graph compares the employment rates between men and females in six different countries for the years 1995 and 2005. As is observed from the group given data, the employment rate among men was higher than that of females in all the given six countries, whereas the overall employment conditions in Iceland, Switzerland were comparatively better than the other four countries. As is given in the diagram, initially in 1995, more than 65% of males were employed in Switzerland and in Iceland, while in the other four countries, this rate was less than 60%. After a decade, the male employment percentage reached over 70%, except in Australia. On the contrary, in 1995, the female employment rate was over 50% only in Switzerland, and for the rest of the countries, this was from 28% to 58%. This quota also improved over the 10 years, and in 2005, the female employment rate reached almost 70% in Switzerland, and for the rest of the countries, it was 50%. Moving on to the graph 2, you should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The chart below shows the amount of money per week spent on fast foods in Britain. The graph shows the trends in consumption of fast foods. Write a report for a university lecturer describing the information shown below. Write at least 150 words. So let's take a look at the other graph. It's a combination of a bar graph and a line graph. So the bar graph is an expenditure pence per person on fast food by income groups UK 1990. And on the other hand, we have the line graph consumption of fast food per person in gram in Britain. So let me present an idle answer that can help you score a good band. The bar chart compares the weekly expenditure of the British on three fast food items in 1990, while the line graph displays the consumption of these items from 1970 to 1990. Overall, expenditure on fast food varied based on people's income, and the pizza was the most consumed item in the 70s, but in later years, consumption of fish and chips increased remarkably. 
It is interesting to note that while the British expended more on hamburgers and less on fish and chips, they drained around 45 pence per person in a week for hamburgers, whereas roughly 15 to 20 pence on the other two items. Moderate income class preferred hamburgers but exhausted approximately 33 pence on that. They outlaid the least on the pizza, which amounted to nearly 12 pence. The low-income class, on the contrary, spent less on fast foods, and they shelled out between 7 to 14 pence for each item, despite fish and chips being their most favorite. According to the line graph, British citizens consumed pizza more than the other two items. In 1970, the consumption of pizza was 300 gram per person, while it was less than 100 gram for the other two items. Over time, fish and chips became the most consumed fast food with 500 gram consumption. During this time, pizza became less popular, while hamburger gained some popularity. Well, thank you so much, friends, for watching this video and keep watching more us writing videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.